Big man dumps. Uh, we good. We not here now. 20 years ago, LeBron James appeared on the cover of Sports Illustrated for the first time under the tagline, The Chosen One. Today, he chose to wear a cutoff t-shirt with a screen print of that issue. It's 3.30 p.m. on a Friday before a tournament, half an hour into a photo shoot in the empty St. V's gym in downtown Akron with his sons Bronny and Bryce. While the boys pose for a photo, LeBron sits on the bleachers as NBA dynamics churn on. With superstars demanding trades and blockbuster moves from teams across the country, you'd think LeBron would be glued to his phone, but not today. Those notes he's taking? They're not trade scenarios, but drills for his son's practice he'll run later in the afternoon. This weekend, they've all returned home for the Battle of Akron, a hoop showcase at St. V's, and really, it's a LeBron James family event. That's because LeBron coaches Bronny's team and is a sponsor of Bryce's. Even though he's a superstar, LeBron coaches like any other dad. He grabs towels for the team, He's very vocal, applauds good defense, and calls for his son to crash the board. He isn't putting on a show for anyone. And you almost forget that he's a legend if it wasn't for the hundreds of cameras and referees wanting to shake his hand during breaks. But like all fathers, you can tell LeBron cherishes this moment, knowing it won't last forever. It's well known that LeBron's dream is to play in the NBA with Bronny. If the basketball gods will grant that wish, however, is still undecided. But today, LeBron's legacy continues in a new way. The walls of the gym read, I'm just a kid from Akron, living a dream. And for now, that's never been more true.